Feel I feel good. Ba -da 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 -da. I feel good. Ba -ba -ba. Feel good. Ha -ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, with that feel good vibes, I welcome you to this episode of Come Wash House with Me. And today, we'll be looking at this wonderful piece here, the spinning bike, okay? So, the spinning bike has a lot of um, benefits. One, it improves your cardiovascular health, okay? It, it's, it's a good form of aerobic exercise, and it increases and strengthens the heart and lungs. Trust me, if you want your heart and lungs, lungs in your health to increase, lay your hands on a spinning bike. I must say. And another good thing about the spinning bike is that it helps you weight loss. Okay, so how does it help you weight loss? So by the time you work out, you lose a significant amount of calories, okay? And it's been in a short period of time. So this um, calories being lost, you know, aids in weight loss have fat burning. Okay, so by the time I pedal so much for a long period of time, you know, with so much intensity, you know, yeah, I get to burn some calories and I... It, you know, when I bought some calories, my fat burns and it aids in weight loss over time. And one good thing about this is it's very gentle on the on the joints, your joints here and your joints here, and also the hip flexors as well. So it's actually very gentle on the joints. And if you're having your joint issues or you know. Whatever, for whatever reason you're having joint pain and you're wondering what kind of exercise should you engage in, spinning back is the best, okay? Because it's actually very gentle compared to running or jumping the skippy rope. So this is actually very gentle because you get to pedal at your pace. You pedal at your pace. You pedal at your pace. No issues, you know. And um, it actually, you know, strengthens your muscles as well. And that's another thing. It strengthens your muscles, all right, um, and tones your muscles too. So especially your armstring, your quadriceps, your your calves, you know, it, it actually engages them. I mean, how else are you pedaling if it's not engaging? Tell me, what else is doing the work? That your is your your lower your low, the lower part of your body is basically what is doing the whole work. So yeah, if you want to strengthen your muscle and tone your muscle in the lower part of your body, the spinning back is the best you know, option for you to go for. All right, and I'm gonna end by telling you that it's actually by the time this you work out on a spinning bag, you end up increasing your energy levels. I'm telling you, the energy levels will up there, up there over the roof. And, you know, it decreases fatigue. I mean, if you're really tired and you, you don't know what else to do, you have to engage in spinning bike. And the good thing that the spinning bike we have, we have different ranges of spinning bike, okay? We have for the people on the, you know, 180 kg and I, I'm, you know, there about. And we have for those, you know, if you're, if you're on a lower size like me, instead of going for this, you go for a smaller one. But both of them are all affordable. All right. I'm going to show, there's no major difference. It's literally the same thing. The difference is the motor. You need to actually spin this one for a very long time. It carries a, a lot of weight and nothing will really happen. Okay. But if you are above 120, you can, you should use the other one. So that is the difference. They're asking me what is the difference between it to swing it by. That's just the difference. So get your hands on anyone. They're all very affordable. Okay.